Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little two drawer unit, really easy to make, and this is part of the garden shed series. So I'll just bring the shed in and I'll show you where that's going to sit. And that will go over there in that corner. I've put the um, cutting list for this latest little unit down in the description below, so that makes it easier for you to print off. And coming up next is a list of the tools and materials you'll need. And then we'll get started. So we're going to begin by attaching a side piece between each pair of legs. So I've dispensed some glue here onto a piece of card and I'm using a cocktail stick to apply it. So begin by applying glue along each long edge of the first side piece. Like that. Lay it back on your worktop and then attach it to the first leg so that you've got a nice flush edge along there. Bring in the remaining leg and then I'm just going to bring in a couple of spare 5x5 um, five five strips and these just help when you're sort of pressing pieces together where you haven't really got a lot to hold on to. So make sure it's all flat against your work surface and then press it together. But And you can hold on to that and bring in a spare or a clean cocktail stick. Just get rid of the excess glue. Like that. And then just very carefully slide that piece along your worktop and that can be left to dry. And the same with the remaining side. Once again, that piece can be left to dry. Okay, so once you allow enough time for the glue to dry, bring your side pieces back in and then just turn those over and onto the sides like that. And we're going to do a pencil line 14 millimeters or 35 64 of an inch from what will become this top edge. And you only need to do that on the side piece, um, not onto the legs. It's just because it's quite difficult to erase um, from that back leg once the back is in place. So just do it in the middle of the section. So 14 millimetres, 35 sixty-fourths of an inch from the top edge. I'll turn those round and join up the lines. This is for placement of our um, central shelf. want to do the same thing again on that back piece so the top edge is the shorter edge so turn it onto its side and again 14 millimeters 35 64 of an inch join the line up like that Okay, we're then going to glue the back piece to the sort of front edge of that back leg, so it will sit along there like that. So apply glue along the long edge of the back piece, along one long edge, like that. And then stick it into place so that the you've got a nice sort of flush edge at the top and those lines are lined up. Press it into place and I'll just check at the back, make sure that it's straight. When that's dried off a little bit, I'll just show you how that's sitting against that back leg. I'll pick that up. Yes, yeah, so it's just sitting on the inside of that back leg, so you've got a little bit of an overhang at the back there, a little bit of a lip. Glue there. 
Right, and then bring in the top piece. So there's three pieces of the same. So any one of those pieces and apply glue to one long and one short edge. Pop that into place so it's sitting on the inside edge of those join pieces and so you've got a nice top, uh, flush top. Press those together. Again, get rid of that excess glue. Then bring in the second of those pieces and the same thing again. Apply glue to one long and one short edge. We're then going to pop that in so it sits just below that um, pencil line. Sorry, I'm just going to have to turn it round to do that. I'm working at it from a sort of weird angle. So sit it just below the line. So you can just see that line above the piece. Pull the back in to meet it, which will square it all up. Get rid of your excess glue. And then finally the bottom piece, and again on the inside edge of those pieces. We've got a nice flush edge along that bottom there, and along the bottom of the back piece as well. Press it right into that corner, like that, and then we can attach the remaining side. I'm just going to refresh my glue, it's going a bit tacky. Just apply glue along those exposed edges, along there as well, and then you can just lay the remaining side piece into place. That line's on there so you can just peep inside and check that that shelf is staying straight, staying where it should. So just have a little look inside and make sure it's just below that line which it is there. Make sure you've got a nice flush bottom edge. I'm just checking that with my thumb there and you should have a nice flush front edge as well. So you've got a little bit of time to manoeuvre everything before the glue dries. And just carefully pick that up and you can remove the excess glue while you're supporting it. Make sure you haven't got too much inside. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of masking tape to hold that all together whilst the glue is drying. And I've just got a couple of pieces here that I'm going to stick straight over the side like that. All nice and tightly. I'll put another little bit down there as well, and that can be left to dry. Okay, so once you've allowed enough time for the glue to dry, remove the tape, and then I've just sanded that all around again, and on the front edge as well. I've just I've got a nice flush front. And then I just want to round over one long edge on both sort of short edges, both sides of this top piece. So I'm just going to hold it in my hand and use a piece of fine grade sandpaper and just support the top piece and just hold the paper at a 45 degree angle and just sweep it along like that. I'm not going too mad with this piece, I just want to take away those sort of sharp edges. And then you can turn the piece over and do the same again on the underside, like that. And then apply glue to the top of the unit. Make sure you get it onto the top of those legs as well, right along the edges. And then the unrounded edge should go towards the back. And that should be flush with the back of the legs. So the legs should be right at the back of that piece and then there should be an even overhang at either side and that will just be about a millimetre if that. 
So press that down and then you can use your other cocktail stick to remove the excess glue. Like that from the side as well. And I've got a bit of masking tape here and I'm just going to put a piece straight over the top. Put it nice and tight. And I just want to pop a little bit over the back as well. Hold that down there. And then I've got a couple of clamps here that I'm just going to use along that front edge. another one there and that can then be left to dry while we make the drawers. Okay so once the glue has dried you can remove the masking tape and then I've just sanded across that um, top again to remove the pulls from the tape and then I advise in the cutting list not to cut the drawers until you've constructed the unit and that's just so you get a more accurate fit. So once you've constructed the unit measure the drawer openings, width, height and depth and then just deduct half a millimetre, if that, from each measurement and that just allows the drawer to slide in and out more easily. And then once you've cut the pieces, apply glue along each edge of the base, pop that back down on your surface and attach the side pieces, making sure you've got a nice flush edge along the front and back, that side as well. that into place and then just very carefully slide that along your surface. Just let the glue dry off a little bit more like that. Same again with the other one. And just very carefully slide that along. They can then be left to dry just for a moment, just so that the glue is dry enough so that we can handle them without them falling apart. You can then apply glue along the front and back edges. And attach the front and back pieces making sure that you pull those side pieces up to meet the edges of the front and back piece. So you've got a nice sort of flush box. Carefully press that all together. And then be left to dry and you can do the same with the remaining one. So once the glue has dried you can sand the drawers on all edges, top and bottom as well. Make sure you've got a nice fit. If not you may need to do a little bit more sanding but just do a little bit at a time so you're not taking too much off. And then I'm going to um, fit draw knobs to these. So begin by making, actually use my smaller ruler, begin by making a pencil mark in the centre of the draw front. Make a little pencil mark there from top to bottom. And then turn it and then do the pencil mark um, down the ways as well. I just do a little dot like that and then I erase um, the pencil mark and the dot will stay where you've put it. And then I've got a little 2.5mm um, um, wooden draw knob, so it's 2.5mm diameter and I'm going to drill a hole um, in the draw front 
So I've got my um, mini drill here and it's got a 1.5 millimetre bit in it. That's one sixteenth of an inch. So sort of support the draw with your finger as you're drilling and don't go too hard as you may sort of just go straight through the draw front. Like that. And I'll just give it a bit of a, a jiggle to make sure that the stem of the draw knob fits in. So just sort of fit that in there. Make sure you've got a nice snug fit like that. And then you can just pop that out. In fact, it's quite tight, so I might not need to. I was going to just pull that out and put a little bit of glue in, but it's so tight, I don't need to, so that's good. And then do the same on the remaining drawer. Okay, so that piece is now ready for finishing using your varnish or wood dye or paint or whatever you choose. But first of all, I want to do the um, cup rings again on the top as we did with the first unit we made. And again, I'm using this piece of um, tube, but you could use a, a plastic straw or something like that, or even a paper straw, anything where you've got a cylinder. So dip it into the glue and then just put it onto the top of the unit, making sure you've got the complete circle. I'm just going to do a couple on top of here just because it's such a small unit. And if you're using um, varnish or wood dye, it won't take over that glue. And then that will leave the cup ring there. So let that dry completely before you apply your finish. And there is the completed unit. Once again, I um, used the wood dye inside the drawer openings because that won't affect the size of them. So you can do that to prevent sort of any light wood showing around the edge of the drawers. OK, so I'm going to bring the shed in and we'll pop that into place. OK, and that one will go over there. So I hope you've enjoyed this latest video. If so, please do subscribe. And if you enjoy making your own doll's house furniture and miniatures, you might like to have a look at my books. I've published four of them so far. They're all available to purchase from Amazon. I'll pop a couple of links below. Or you can just search for Julie Warren and you'll find them. And for now, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again soon.